everybody hope all is well um i'm outside to pick up my son so i'm not just cruising <laughs> i'm trying to comply to the stay at home policy was which have been implemented um i hope you know that your city is doing well not well to the point of that everything's okay because we, as we know everything is not okay but at least to the point that is under control that things are trying to look as if everybody is getting an understanding of what's going on and everybody is trying to help the cause um within our community they have mandated that we wear our proper p pe's right um and that if you're caught not wearing them that you can get be issued a ticket um, so it's mandated now that you wear your facial mask, that you're using the proper procedures to make sure you stay safe and that you are not congregating because um, they're going to start trying to cite people. Because in some areas, I know like in L.A. County, um, I asked my friend, just like I'm asking you guys, how is your city doing? Are people complying? And she's like, no, there's still a lot of people just congregating in big groups outside, having birthday parties and stuff like that. It's not funny because I know some people are not built around fear so they feel like they're gonna live their life accordingly um, complying to policies is not to suggest that you're in fear it's just saying that you are trying to abide by the laws of the land and that you are willing to help a situation so don't ever think that oh if I comply or listen to them I'm allowing them to control me it's not control it's just being wise and being smart and trying to not be a part of a problem but trying to be a part of a solution that's just my opinion that's not facts that's just what I think when it comes to us complying um, in our situation when we are classified as target individuals unfortunately they try to control feel the fear to keep us in the house right and so I feel we shouldn't have complied to that that you should not have been controlled by fear to stay in the house right because you did nothing wrong if you really did nothing wrong I know a lot of us don't know why you are targeted but you are um but unfortunately like I said every bad situation has a good outcome like for an example I feel because like I said we were targeted we was already woke we already knew how to look between the lines we already knew that something big was going to happen because we was getting persecuted for what why would God put through people through so much persecution if he wasn't preparing them for something and that's how I feel that we was being persecuted because stuff like this was about to happen we already have the ability to not spaz out and sit in the house because we would that was our safe zone anyways right i already spoke about that in the other video so i'm not going to dwell on that i feel we already got that um lesson learned out of that um within the coronavirus the lesson learned that i received and i hope everybody else has received that it is a message for god to wake us up for us to understand what's going on that we need god a lot of people in a 2020 generation like those kids that was graduating this year not to say that they deserve what's going on with them but their generation was so disrespectful to the community disrespectful to god you know what i'm saying like they was not respecting and valuing morals anymore and it's like god like i gotta shut y'all down ha! why should y'all be rewarded for bad behavior right and so i just feel like it's not all like oh this all happened because of the 2020 generational kids um it's just because a lot of parents were so used to just allowing them to be free and do what they want to do because they idolize making money. They idolize getting jobs and working all day and not saying that they shouldn't because at times you have to work to survive but it took away the value when it teaches in the house home, right? And so sometimes God said, I'm going to put all that to an end and put it to a stop. And what happened when he put it to a stop? Look at us now. It took for a virus to make us stay at home and put our phone down and probably play a board game with our kids. It's funny how you go to Walmart, right? And it's like, I went to the game department too because I'm used to uh, uh, technology and stuff like that. And I went to go grab just the old school board games. All the board games is gone. So now everybody wanna play board games you know, with their family that's not a bad thing that's a good thing but the coronavirus had to teach you to play board games the coronavirus had to teach us to pick up our phone and check on each other and those that are targeted I hope the coronavirus teach them to wake up and not believe everything they hear because it's a lot of people now that I see on Facebook 
complying like this don't sound right with information that they receive or they like what's going on I'm confused right and they start putting two to two together and saying we being lied to on certain things and stuff like that so with that being said I'm like I'm hoping that they keep that same energy and will realize that you know everything that you hear is not what you hear so when it comes to you they will say the same thing about you know what let me sit back and figure out why is this happening to this person why is this negative energy or negative words being said okay um and also on top of that there's this movie called sale that i was watching you guys and then in this movie sale they was referencing to this new technology coming out because some people do comply and say some people do the conspiracy theory that 5g is causing all these issues to happen and so um reason why i'm bringing up that movie because in that movie cell it's about a, a computer um technology that's coming out that's going to be connected to all the cell phones they was giving away all these cell phones for free you guys and it's like once these cell phone um united it caused a whole bunch of chaos with people people was fighting each other doing all this look that one up then there's this another one called something gentlemen where it was about a new technology that was going to come out almost like 5g you guys where it unites and once it unites it um so some a lot of people was going to die so they had contacted a lot of the rich people right like the top people to endorse them okay and the reason why i'm bringing this movie up because there was a lot of head corporate um people in position that quit executives like ibm executive quit t-mobile executive stepped down um who else stepped down somebody from victoria's secret stepped down it was a lot of executives stepped down to make you be like hmm why were they trying to ask them to be in, endorsed in something and then a lot of times what's connect them rumbling i'm going fast a lot of things that's also happening is a lot of people say well um, 5G give off radiation. Radiation don't give off pneumonia. Radiation does give off the same symptom as pneumonia. I, I believe the word is pronounced pneumonitis. The end of the word is pronounced itis. Okay. So when I was an x-ray technician, we had to learn about different things that will cause harm and why radiation is bad. But we still used it. Um, I had to wear this vest that was made out of like metal. I had to wear this meter called a pico meter and a dymo meter something like that I forgot this is my first job you guys and when you wear this thing it's a reading that would tell me how much radiation I'm being exposed to and if I was exposed to a certain amount of number I was not allowed to do um, x-rays because they said it was too much exposure and then they will actually feel sick you feel queasy and it'll give the same symptoms that a person would, would have pneumonia also it will give off um, you, you can get fluids in your lungs from radiation. So when people tell you that, don't believe, don't say that. Don't think that that's false information because that is true information. Um, last but not least, just want to let you guys know this is spiritual warfare. I don't care what nobody say. God does not allow bad things to happen, but he will allow things to happen to wake us up. Unfortunately, you get what I'm trying to say? People are like, God is not a man of evil. God would allow bad things to happen if that's what it takes to wake you up read it in the bible i'll give you the passage i just hope everybody's okay that's all i wanted to drop on you um i have nothing else to say but hope all is well talk to you guys later thank you